Good afternoon, race fans. We are here at day two, Cedar Lake Speedway for the 32nd annual USA Nationals. Last night, Superman Jonathan Davenport led every lap in route to win number seven, tying him with the guy that tried to pass him and beat him, Brian Burkhofer, seven wins on the all-time win list. Speaking of all-time win list, we'll get to that in a minute, but we have to get to the format because it's most unique in all of racing. Pill draw heat racing tonight with a twist. Heat race one through five in the first round is strictly by the pill draw. So for example, if you drew a low pill, you're probably gonna start towards the front. Second round, five more heats, but flip flopped and inverted, which means that if say the driver we're gonna talk to next drew a five in round one, he would start up front. And let's say it was five, so he would start in heat five. Tonight for round two, He's inverted, he would get a 95 pill draw, but not necessarily in heat five, there would be a number drawn for him. He could end up in heat one, two, three, or four. But starting up front in the first round, you start in the back in the second round. The only people that really don't change, those that start in positions four, five, six, they're pretty much gonna start the same in both rounds. Good, bad, we'll have to see. It's passing points. The more cars you pass, the more points you accumulate. Speaking of accumulation, driver we're about to talk to has accumulated everything there is to win in dirt late model racing. Even the 2004 World of Outlaws Championship, he's won this PDC. He's won every major race there is. One of the best to ever strap on a helmet and gloves. We're talking about Mooresburg, Tennessee, Scott Bloomquist. Scott, everybody's glad you're back. I know you're glad you're back, and you told us yesterday you're about 70% injuries sustained back in March. It's taken a long time to heal, but the good news is doctor told you you can race, you're just gonna have to deal with the pain. Yeah, that's it, pretty much. Uh, you know, the, after 30, 40 laps, you know, I'll get I'll get a real tight spot up the back of my right cheek, and uh, and it'll get quite quite uncomfortable to where I try to move around the seat, and just uh, it makes it a little bit hard to be smooth. But you know, it seems to be take a little longer each time I race. So you know, and even driving around the street, you know, if I have to hold one position for a long time, it gets a little bit uncomfortable, but um, you know, we're just going to keep on doing it, keep on breaking it in, and uh, hopefully it'll it'll get fi completely freed up again. So the Reader's Digest version in racing can be a pain in the butt. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> saying it nicely, yes. Okay, so the team, you've got Chris Madden along with you here. Chris has jumped in a car, and, and he's done pretty well out of the box since he's come over to Team Zero. Uh, how's this all working between the two of you? A lot more information to share, or is it pretty much everybody on their own program? Well, no, I mean, you know, he's he's pretty much starts with what we've been doing and and we let him do whatever he really like to do, you know, try anything he wants, uh, which which has worked out. You know, he's done a few things, uh, not a lot, but a few things different that that uh, then we'll go ahead and try it also, see if we like it. But, you know, it's good to have someone to bounce stuff off of. And, you know, he's been in our, was in our cars for 20 plus years, you know, so. He's familiar with the cars. Uh, he's, you know, he's happy to be back in them, and and uh, we're looking forward to the future. A lot of the drivers here this weekend haven't seen this format, but once a year, you guys kind of saw it a few uh, weeks ago in Nebraska. Pretty much the same type of deal. How do you deal with something like this for two sets of heat races, flip flopped, passing points? I know it's something none of us do normally. Yeah, it, it is quite different. <laughs> difficult. It can be real difficult, depending on what heat you get in. Uh, you could get in a loaded one. We we drew, you know, almost last, I believe, for this first deal, and and you get a you get a pretty stacked heat and a uh, real heavy racetrack. It makes it very difficult. Um, you know, you just got to look forward to, to the one you get to start up front. And be sure that you don't miss it, you know, or or do anything to make a mistake in it and win it. But um, yeah, it it's difficult. It's harder on equipment. Uh, you know, you just got to hope you get through it. Well, the good news is not many laps to run tonight. We're going to hot lap by our heat race from the first round, and then we're going to go do a couple of heat races, and that's it for the evening. So as far as toll on the body, it's great. Toll on the car, we'll have to see. But mentally, it's got to make everybody a little bit refreshed going into tomorrow night. Obviously, if you do better, you're going to be a little better off. But if you don't, you still have a shot. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, normally it would be qualifying run just one, one heat race, you know. So having two of them, it makes double for the work, but uh, yeah, we should be done fairly early. Uh, well, the better, more cars you pass, the less pain you're going to have in the seat. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it, Any, anything you want to tell everybody here that's going to be watching this about uh, what to look forward to in the future for you? A lot of people are asking, how much longer is Scott going to be around? 
got any clue as to what your plan is? Uh, well, you have no plan to do anything but racing. You know, we're right now, you know, we're getting better each week and uh, have the full intentions of uh, being back as good as that is new, you know, yeah. and and that'll make a difference right now is, you know, I can't get under the car. I right. can't climb in and out and do things. I'm back here buffing my own tires still, though. And, uh, you know, I could still do I could still do quite a bit. It's just uh, a little difficult getting in and out of the car, but. You know, I'm glad all of our sponsors have stuck beside us. You know, Great American Steak, and Ed Petroff, uh, Petroff Towing, and RBB Transport. You know, Great American Steak. I said that, but Lucas Oil's on board again. Uh, Steal it. Uh, Silbera Chiropractic, Weight Loss Center. You know, we got we got everybody. Uh, Midwest Mobile Tech. You know, there are all these all these people that are on our car. They're going to stick with us. Uh, Sweet Manufacturing, VP Racing Fuels. You know, we're we're here to stay, and uh, I hope they are too. Any indication as to when the 100% Scott Bloomquist health comes back? I would like to think it should be in the next three to four weeks. I think that I'll be good enough. You know, the, the main thing is the rough, if it's really rough, that's a problem. Right. Uh, you know, somewhere you know, like Eldora, smooth and, uh, and fast where you're just rolling in and out of the gas, you know, but when you got to really stomp the gas and work a cushion and have a rough racetrack, it's difficult because you drive more with your feet than you do your hands anyway. And, you know, being really fast with your feet uh, is, is not up to par quite yet, but, uh, you know, I keep looking every time I go out for it to be back. So I think it'll be soon. So bottom line is the gut feeling I get somewhere in about the first week or so of September, you ought to be feeling about 100%. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> World 100 coming around. So tonight, good luck, Scott. See how you do in these two heats. Passing points, top 16 are in, top eight are in the dash. I know that's what you're shooting for. Let's see what happens. Yes, you bet. And I want to be sure to thank Larry Clark at Custom Race Engines. Uh, you know, these power plants in these cars are, are awesome. Just strong, very strong pieces. Uh, we're looking forward to getting somewhere we can really air them out. At 70%, he's better than a lot of drivers in the country. At 100%, it could be doomsday for many that are going to follow the zero this year.